Hi everyone, welcome to the Laser Channel. My name is Greg and in today's video I've got something very unique. I have two laser machines from Algo Laser. The Algo Laser Alpha and the Delta. And I'll be taking a look at the similarities between these two machines and the things that make these two models of machines different from one another. Welcome back. Let's get started by taking a look at both of these machines on what characteristics they both have in common. Both of these machines are high speed and very high quality machines. And the two major things that people typically look for when looking at a laser machine is the laser module and then the work area. And that's exactly where I'm going to start. Both the Alpha and the Delta machine both have identical laser modules and that's really good because both of these machines feature a COS system and that's basically a fancy way of saying it is the second generation of how they combine the multiple laser emitters down into one laser beam that comes out the bottom of the laser machine. The COS technology, it results in a smaller, more precise beam coming out of either of these laser modules. And that's really important when we start talking about engraving and cutting through materials, especially thicker materials. Underneath the laser module, there is a flame detection sensor adding to the further safety of the operation of the machine. I had to grab my cheat sheet because both of these machines, they are so feature packed, it's just easier for me to go off of a list here a little bit. Now, the other similarities with the laser module, since we're talking about them, is each laser module is rated for at least 10,000 hours of operation time. Now, 10,000 hours, that's a pretty big time span. So to put it in something more relatable, how about we take a look at a 40 hour work week? Uh, across one year with holidays, that comes out to 2,060 hours. So if we ran this machine during a normal 40 hour work week, we would get nearly five years of runtime before we would take a look at replacing a laser module. That is an incredible amount of runtime on the laser module. Both of these machines feature a nice lighted power switch on them and they both have a nice e-stop button. You can press that and twist it to release it on either of these machines. This lockable key switch, the machine can be locked in either the on position or the off position. If the machine is locked in the off position with the key removed then, this machine will not operate until the key is reinstalled and turned into the on position. And this allows full control over who uses the machine and who does not use the machine. Both machines can also be operated with the following software packages, Lightburn software, laser gerbil, and the Algo laser app. The similarities between these two high quality machines continues with the drive system for moving around the laser module. Both machines feature this drive system that has a V guide in the side rails and this cross beam here. And in that V groove rides a polymer wheel. Now these are long wearing, long lasting and very precise. Before I change over to the differences between the two machines here, the last similarity is both machines come pre-wired and they come with a really nice cable management system that includes management for the airline for the included air assist kit and pump that comes with both machines. There's a number of differences between these two machines that make the Delta machine stand out from the Alpha machine. And that's going to be the size of the work area, the display on this Delta machine, and the speeds between the two machines. The work area of this Alpha machine is going to be 400 millimeters by 400 millimeters, and that comes out to about 15 and three quarters inches squared. When we look at the Delta machine, its work area is going to be 440 millimeters by 415 millimeters, and that comes out roughly to about 17.3 inches by about 16.3 inches. 
The Delta machine work area is just that little bit larger work area to sneak in some of those larger projects. The Alpha machine will run at an amazing speed of 20,000 millimeters per minute. When I convert that over to millimeters per second, that comes out to about 330 millimeters per second. The Delta machine runs even faster yet at 30,000 millimeters per minute. When I convert that over, that's 500 millimeters per second on a desktop laser machine. On the Delta machine, when we're talking about assembly, this has virtually no assembly. I did a previous video on this where this was put together and powered on in less than six minutes. And that's because this comes largely pre-assembled with only this top frame here having to be installed. And what does the box look like on a machine that comes basically pre-assembled? This is the box for the Delta machine. And as you can see, it literally is the size of the machine. If you're somebody that doesn't like to put laser machines together, the Delta machine is definitely going to be the machine for you. There's a few more differences between these two machines and to share those with you, I'm gonna move over to the Delta machine because really it's the Delta machine that has a lot more features packed into it over the Alpha machine. And again, this machine does have a nice color touchscreen. We're gonna take a look at that once I've got this powered on. But going back to just the physical machine itself, the frame members, everywhere on the machine are going to be larger than the Alpha machine. And that includes the rail system in which the laser module moves around. The guide track that this rides on is going to be a little bit wider and that's going to provide even more stability, especially with the higher speeds that the Delta machine can run at. Earlier in the video, we took a look at all of the switches and the buttons on the front of the machine that are very similar but the Delta machine, the main power button, it is larger. When we take a look at the e-stop button here, this too is larger. It's made out of aluminum and it is lighted. This button will light up when it is pressed down. Connecting a rotary accessory is made even easier on the Delta machine. Behind the main control panel here is a connector just for the rotary accessory and there's a rocker switch here to connect to the rotary or place it back for normal Y motor operation for when you're running without that rotary accessory. The last difference that I'd like to share with you is when doing projects on the machine. The Alpha machine, you do need to be connected to it either with the Lightburn software, laser gerbil, or the Algo laser app. Now, those are all great methods to connect up to the machine to create all of your projects. Again, the Delta machine is gonna take it up a step by being able to plug just a regular USB drive in the side and then navigating through the touch screen to run this machine without having to connect to Lightburn, Laser Gerbil, or the Algo Laser app. So this can be ran as a standalone machine. I think that's definitely pretty cool and it definitely adds to the versatility of the Delta machine. Before I jump into the speed test between the Alpha machine and the Delta machine, I'm going to cue in some nice music and I'm going to do a montage of close-up features of the Alpha machine and the Delta machine.
Before I run this speed test, I have a question for you that I'd like to hear your answers down in the comments down below. When I do this speed test, I can only run one machine at a time, so I won't know if they're running at the same speed or if one is running faster than the other, and I'd like you to take a guess on which one you think will run faster. All right, we're ready to see some speed tests on both of these machines. On the table right now, of course, is the Alpha machine. We'll be taking a look at the Delta machine next. What I have in Lightburn software here is a 15 inch circle. And I'm going to use that 15 inch circle on both the Alpha machine and the Delta machine. That way I'm comparing apples to apples, even though the Delta machine has a slightly larger work area, we're still gonna be running the same size circle. During the speed test, I'm gonna run this machine at its maximum rated speed of 330 millimeters per second. And I'm going to do the same thing on the Delta machine and then through the power of editing, I'm going to synchronize the video between the two machines side by side and we'll be able to watch those at the same time and see if both machines at 330 millimeters per second are actually running at the same speed. And then I'm going to run the Alpha machine up at 500 millimeters per second, even though it's not rated to do that, but the Delta machine is. And once again, while that's running, I'm going to have the Alpha machine and the Delta machine on the video running side by side, and we can see if they're going to be running again at the same speed. A couple of the basic settings that I have in Lightburn here is we can see that I have this machine speed at 330 millimeters per second. I'm going to do a pass count of 10 and I have the power level at 0.5%, just enough so that I can see the blue laser, but not so powerful that I need to put some goggles on. We'll also see in the work area here is I have the laser defocused by every bit of one inch and that way I don't need to worry about any reflection coming off of this aluminum panel coming back into the laser module itself. I'd like to pause for just one minute to say thank you to Algo Laser for supplying an Alpha machine and a Delta machine so that I can create this content for you. I really do enjoy creating this content on learning and sharing what these machines do, the similarities between them, the differences, and that way, if you're looking at either one of these machines, hopefully you've learned something that can help you make a decision on which machine best fits your use. If you like this video, if you learned something from it, I'd really appreciate giving this video a like, subscribing to the channel, or ringing that notification bell. Doing any of those things really helps me out, but more so, it's a way of connecting content like this with viewers like you. Until next time, learn, create, and share.